Every day in our community, thousands of children go hungry. Every night, countless homeless families sleep in their cars. Almost 20% of our neighbors live below the poverty line. Together, we can do better. United Way of the Greater Triangle is a champion for change in our community. Meeting today's complex issues requires a new kind of collaboration, a partnership among nonprofits, businesses, community and government leaders, and thousands of donors and dedicated volunteers. A partnership mobilized by United Way. Lives in Durham, Johnston, Orange, and Wake Counties will be transformed. The house that we were living in went under foreclosure. Be homeless is really hard, especially when you got kids. When we called the shelter, we were the 77th family on wait. I called United Way. They were able to give me many resources on food banks and shelters. I never knew that there was there was a resource line like that that can help families that were in need. We ended up going to PLM. They showed me many ways on budgeting and they also helped me with Dress for Success. I thank God for United Way that they're, they're there to help families. Thanks to them, we were able to find a home. Um, you know, we're doing a whole lot better now. Um, my husband's got a full-time job and we started a small cleaning business. So, you know, it's, it's actually worked out. We're so blessed. They, they, they're doing good in school, you know. Before, when we were going through that situation, that rocky situation, they were, they were failing. Um, but now they've got straight A's. You know, the kids sleep in their own room, in their own bed. They enjoy more. Being a kid. Yeah. As a foster child, I had a dream, but I didn't know how to get to my dream. I stayed with uh, Doug Horton. He was a male, and he understood that, um, you know, males are hard-headed when they're young. So he definitely um, pushed me and told me that if you mess up, just know you have to correct it. His main thing was you need to get to college, you need to get an education, and you need to understand that society is going to look at you differently if you don't have an education. I go to Wake Tech right now. Growing up, I took care of my grandmother. I definitely wanted to transition into geriatrics. Lynx started off helping me early on um, when I was um, younger and when I was actually more into placements and stuff like that. Uh, Carolina Outreach uh, helped me out with uh, a therapist and the Hope Center stepped in immediately and made me feel at home here in Raleigh. A lot of children in foster care are young and they are scared and sometimes all it takes is a little loving and caring to get them to open up. And once they open up and trust that person, then the sky's the limit. The first time I volunteered for United Way, I would say it was during our 2013 campaign um, for Nationwide Insurance. And they asked me to co-chair the campaign that year. But I wanted to do something more involved with United Way. So I actually had my peers and I get together and we actually went into an apartment and we painted the apartment for half a day. The United Way organization is very, you know, humanitarian. When you go out and you look at the education, the financial stability that they're able to offer back to agencies, child and youth education, um, able to have kids, you know, learn with the tutoring sessions and help Meals on Wheels, helping the, the elderly, domestic violence, just poverty, homelessness. So it's just much bigger than just um, the name itself. Well, I work at the Waffle House and I've never been able to have um, medical care. There were several health issues because I hadn't seen a doctor in years and years. About the only thing I ever went to was emergency room doctors. When you're walking around with high blood pressure and in pain all the time, you know, something needs to be done. And so I'd heard about Urban Ministries, so I decided to come here. I was immediately sent to see all the doctors I needed to see. Within weeks I was on prescriptions. I wanted to take their cooking classes. I'm a vegetarian and so it's great to you know learn different dishes than the ones I already know how to cook. Uh, Dr. Uh, Greenberg, he's even suggested exercises and things like that to you know the yoga and stuff 
for a relief on arthritis. Oh, I feel great. All my health issues are taken care of. I, I mean, I, I just love these doctors and volunteers. If you're in a position to give, I would definitely do it. I know that we're not the only family out there that needs help or that's going through a rough situation. And United Way gives us hope. They, it gives us hope that there are people out there that care. Your gift to the Community Impact Fund will improve lives in our communities, transforming generations to come.